the Lord granted one of our fathers in the church the opportunity to tour two books. And these two books are uh, on or in Amazon. You can buy them from Amazon. Now we have Mr. Dr. David Oyetunji. I'd like to invite him. Amen. Praise the Lord. To come this morning, he would like to present these books to the church. Please, sir. Let's encourage him. <laughs> ah, thank God. Please, this slide. Good morning, church. Yes, sir. So I want to thank the church. I want to thank the leadership of the church led by Reverend Thomas Akwatore. I really appreciate the grace. I have been given a few minutes, so I won't talk much. So this is the book. The first one is The Man Dave, A True Story. It's now available as paper back which is this and it is in amazon it is in smash world next next slide the second book is the impact of the automotive industry on the economic growth in nigeria and across the world this is the paperback and ebook is equally available Yes, uh, I'm grateful to the church. I'm grateful to Pastor Reverend Tom Tapatori for this opportunity. Next, next slide. I will read it back. And it says, this is on demand Dave. This is the true life story of David Oyotunji who came into life by the faith of his parents. Both hoped for a male child and were blessed with him. However, he was a weak child and bedeviled by sickness. So there was doubt as to whether he would survive. At the age of three, he fainted and was declared dead. But his parents did not give up. He was kept inside the room for a whole day without touch or treatment and eventually revived and returned to life. His mother told him that a diviner had raised their hopes by assuring them that the boy Dave would live and one day support the family. They were told to take very good care of him as he was a special child. Dave began his primary education at the age of nine, secondary at 16, and earned his first degree at 26. He achieved his master's degree at 35, his PhD at 55, and got married at the age of 40. He is a professional accountant, an economist, expert with fellowship and other awards, both locally and internationally. The Man Dave, a true story, is recommended by many scholars because it is inspiring, motivating, challenging, passion-driven, and reveals the intellectual aptitude of the writer. There were evils, tribulations, and persecutions from his foes, but Dave overcame them all. Few things here. You will read about my birth, about my education, about my family, about my employment. I am recommending it to so many people because in the employment, there are so many problems people share with me. 
but which are equally experienced. And some of us are experiencing them. There are ways out. God will give you the wisdom. My political life, I shortly joined politics. My business life, I've been in business since 1971. My brother introduced me to business, but I started my own personal business since 1983. I trained myself for first degree and up to PhD. So there are so many things you can see in this book. I assure you that if God is with you, there is no limitation for you. Testimonies about David Oye, Dr. David Oye Tunji, philosophies from my life experiences. I wrote so many things. I would say poverty is a choice. Many of us will say, can somebody choose poverty? Yes, you can choose poverty. Life circle hypothesis, great lessons to learn. Permanent income hypothesis, great lessons to learn. Nothing in life is permanent. Office travels, my testimonies and true life story. You can see that. Who is your scapegoat? Many of us, we look for somebody to bear our cross. We don't take responsibilities. So, you can read. Right from the childhood, people take a scapegoat. At adulthood, people take a scapegoat. At old age, people take a scapegoat. But if you like, you can take everybody as your scapegoat. The realities will go after you. Next. These are the various awards. Next. Organization, various places I had worked. Next, positions I've occupied. Next, outside the working environment positions, business I have engaged in. Countries I've traveled. Next. 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 I have wait. I have written so many which are online. You can see it. And I have made presentations with NTA. I want to read this. This is editor's uh, comment. I have worked on many biographies, but I have seldom once acquired I have seldom come across one where it is quite evident. The person who is the subject of the work has been as much loved, admired, and respected for their life's works as Dr. Dave. Indeed, it is a true story. With so many awards to his name, and having been associated with so many businesses and institutions, it could not be otherwise. As book editors, we are required to fix the shortcomings and omissions of a manuscript. Originally, I queried Dave on what seemed rather an abrupt ending to his book. He shared much of his travails and tribulations, experiences, and wisdom up to the age of 60. And there it ended. Surely, I thought, for a person like this, Require retirement is not the end of the, li of the line. With so, much, with so much vigor, what's the next installment of his life? What will move him get out of bed in the morning? What is the next chapter? And so came a new conclusion to the original text. Dr. Dave may be retired, but he is not slowing down. In fact, he seems as found an entirely new lease on life, inspiring others while giving back so much of what he has gained in life up to his point. It was a privilege sharing in your life's work. Go, doctor. Next. Yes. This book was, uh, the forward was written by the current uh, APC National Secretary, that's Dr. Omishore, former governor of uh, Ocean State. Yes, next. 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 Please go back. No, go back. Before conclusion. Sorry. I want to read one out of go back. One more step. 
One more step. One more step. Yes. No. Okay. Ne uh, back. One more step. One more step. Just permit on this. And that's the last one. Life cycle hypothesis. Great lessons to learn. Let me switch my views to that of a professional economist. The following topic address, addresses the fundamental people means in their lives due to ignorance or carelessness. Life, life calls for seriousness at every stage. Don't miss your happiness now or in the future. You are the historian of your own life. Write good a history for yourself, despite all us. Let us look at the life cycle hypothesis. If you live long, you will pass through the stages of this hypothesis. You will have nothing to regret in life or become the laughing stock to your enemies or foes who are waiting for your ridicules. Be prepared to battle and win with the help of God. Childhood stage. A child depends totally on the appearance. If you are comfortable, they enjoy comfort. And if you are poor, they suffer lack of well-being and scorn from society. What parents provide for their children depends on the preparation they made as child, as children and teenagers themselves when they were going to school or learning skills to cater for their household as adults. If you take this stage with levity, your adulthood will suffer and your children will inherit poverty from the early age of their lives. Think of what you want your children to inherit. Tell this to your children to be, to be responsible even during childhood so they can take care of your old age. If you live long, you will gain, you will again become the dependent. Your comfort depends on the status of your children. Next. Yes, I will finish it now. Good. At the whole stage, at this stage, you make use of the certificate skills you acquired when you were a child and teenager. If you, were, you have none, you do all kinds of do, all jobs. This is a testimony of your childhood. Okay, thank you very much. You can read more on this book. And you can read more on this. The books are in Smashword, it's in uh, Amazon, please, kindly, you can meet with me, and uh, you can make your bookings now, and uh, I need your support. I want these books to be uh, extended to institutions. Thank you very much. God bless. Thank you very much, sir. Yes, sir. We would like to dedicate these books unto the Lord. Father, we are grateful that you inspired your servant. We're grateful that he not only got inspiration, he followed this inspiration and penned down these books. Thank you, Father, for this great honor. Be exalted, O oh God, in Jesus' name. We dedicate these books and pray that this will be sources of inspiration unto Many, in the name of Jesus Christ, we pray that your hands of blessings and prosperity will be upon them. And so we dedicate these books unto you. We dedicate them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Praise the Lord. So I'd like to encourage as many as can. You can find the books on Amazon, and then if you don't mind, you can... Ah, I think. Ah, thank God. 
Amen. So you can purchase a copy for yourself. You can purchase for friends and for young ones. And like he requested, we can purchase for institutions. And the Lord would bless us in the name of Jesus Christ.